Hey there, grade 10. Welcome again to another video. In this video, we will be graphing polynomial functions. So, this one here is a linear function. At yung graph ng linear function ay straight line. Ito naman ay quadratic function. At ang kanyang graph ay parabola. Pero, what if we are given a function like this? Or like this? Paano kaya ang itsura ng graph ng mga polynomial functions na may degree na 3 pataas? So actually, yung mga ganong functions, yung mga graph nila, eh, medyo ganyan ang itsura. Uh, marami siyang turning points. Okay, so ito ang tinatawag nating turning points. Okay, marami siyang kurba. But how do we graph polynomial functions? Before we graph polynomial functions, talakayin muna natin itong leading coefficient test. So, this test is used to determine the end behavior of the graph. Ano nga ba tong end behavior? Yung end behavior kasi, yun yung parang kung paano yung graph at both ends, kung tataas ba siya or bababa siya sa right. Same is true with the left. So, there are four cases. Pero ang titingnan lang natin dito is yung leading term. Let's say, for example, we have this polynomial. The leading term of this polynomial function is 5x cubed. Tingnan lang natin yung degree kung odd or even at tingnan lang natin yung leading coefficient kung negative or positive. Sabi sa case 1, if the degree is odd and the leading coefficient is positive, yung end behavior niya is that tataas sa right, bababa sa left. Okay. Sa case 2 naman, kung ang degree ay odd, kind of like this, 5 is the degree and 5 is odd. And the leading coefficient is negative. So, ang leading coefficient is negative 7. It will fall to the right, but it will rise to the left. Hmm. Tingnan natin kung paano natin to isa summarize later on, no? Sa so case 3 naman, if the degree is even and the leading coefficient is positive, kagaya ng polynomial function na to, both will rise to the left and right. Tataas siya sa left and right. Okay? But sa case 4, if the degree is even and the leading coefficient is negative, parang yung polynomial function na to, pareho silang bababa sa left and right. So, paano ba tong leading coefficient test na to para mas easy tandaan? Okay, so ganito lang yan. Well, if the degree is odd, one will go up, one will go down. If the degree is even, both will go up or both will go down. Okay. Ulitin ko, kapag ka-add ang degree, one will go up, one will go down. So, pwedeng ganon, pwedeng ganon. Kapag ka naman ang degree ay even, both will go up or down. Okay. Now, paano naman sa leading coefficient? Kung positive yung leading coefficient, Always na tataas yan sa right. Okay? So, kapag ka add tapos positive, since add yan, one will go up, one will go down. Since positive yan, tataas siya sa right, automatically bababa siya sa left. Kapag ka naman even, tas positive, always remember, even, positive, tataas sa right, since positive siya, since even yan, pareho silang tataas sa right. Well, Yun, I hope you will remember those. Huh. Okay, so now let's proceed to graphing. So we do have steps in graphing. Your first step is to identify the end behavior using the leading coefficient. The second step is to find the x-intercepts. And x-intercepts, my dear students, are roots. At paano ba natin makukuha yung roots ng polynomial? We can use the rational root theorem or we can also use factoring or even the remainder theorem. So maraming pwedeng methods to get the roots or the x-intercepts. Next step is to find the y-intercept. Easy lang actually yung pagkuha ng y-intercept kasi isa-set mo lang lahat ng x sa 0 and then solve for the result. Okay, let's have that later. And sa step 4, i-verify lang natin yung graph natin kung hindi niya na-violate yung dapat maximum number of turning points niya. So, titingnan natin yan mamaya. So, let's have the first example. 
Okay, let's graph this polynomial. p of x is equal to x cubed plus 3x squared minus x minus 3. So what do we do? In step 1, we determine its end behavior using the leading coefficient test. So this is the leading term. The degree is odd and the leading coefficient is positive. Now the graph will be looking like this. Okay. Since it is odd, one will go up, one will go down. But of course, since the leading coefficient is positive, it will rise to the right. Of course, automatically, bababayan sa left. So, yan ang direction ng graph at both ends. Step 2 is to determine the x-intercepts. And x-intercepts are the roots of the polynomial. This is where the graph touches or crosses the x-axis. How do we get the roots? We use the rational root theorem. If you forgot the rational root theorem, I do have a video on that, and please check the link on the description box below. Now we determine the possible rational roots, and we get the actual roots by using synthetic division. So my apat na possible roots, since the degree is 3, tatlo lang sa kanila ang actual roots. So we get 1 from the possible roots, I'll choose 1, okay, and I will perform synthetic division. Okay. Now the remainder here is 0. This means that positive 1 is an actual root. Now how do we get the other 2? Okay, we can write this in quadratic equation. So this will become x squared plus 4x plus 3. Now we equate that to 0 and solve for x. Okay. Solve for x using factoring. We equate both factors to 0. And solve for x. And so we have here the other two roots. So the three actual roots are 1, negative 3, and negative one. Now, after getting the actual roots, we get the y-intercept. And to get the y-intercept, we're just going to set x equal to 0. Palitan lahat natin ng x ng 0. So, of course, 0 lahat ang mga yan. The y-intercept is negative 3. Yung mga intercepts na to, they're actually points. Kapag ka x intercept they are points along the x-axis. Kapag ka y-intercept, there are points along the y-axis. Now, before we sketch the graph, isulat natin yung actual roots into its factored form. Kailangan natin yan mamaya. If we write 1 in factored form, that will be x is 1. See, negative 3, that will be x plus 3. So actually, ito yung mga yan. And we have here negative 1, siya ito. X plus 1. So this is the polynomial in factored form. Bakit ko ba ginawa ito? Para malaman natin yung multiplicity. Okay. Well, multiplicity is the number of times a root occurred. So obviously, yung tatlong roots natin actually tigiisa lang ang mga yan, walang exponent naman. Soon kasi we will encounter polynomials na something like this, okay? At yon may epekto yon sa graph. So lahat naman ng roots natin eh tigiisa. All of the roots has a multiplicity of 1. So using all this data, we can now graph the polynomial function. Okay, so iplat natin yung mga intercepts. Always remember, x-intercepts are points on the x-axis. So yung mga roots naman natin ay 1. So iplat natin si 1, nandito siya. Negative 3 is here. And negative 1 is here. And of course, don't forget the y-intercept. We have here negative 3. Y-intercept that lies along the y-axis. So ito siya. Now, basing it from the end behavior, dito siya, bababa siya sa left, tataas siya sa right. Now, lahat ng roots natin na may multiplicity na 1. 1 is odd. Okay? 
if the multiplicity is odd, i-cross ni graph lahat ng x-intercepts natin. So, ganyan. Of course, don't forget, y-intercept, at yun, tataas yan. So, that, my dear students, is the graph of this polynomial function. Seems uh, complicated? Well, let's have another example. Okay, ito yung sinasabi ko na minsan, binibigyan tayo ng polynomial function na kung saan yung isang factor ay may uh, exponent na. Tingnan natin kung ano ang epekto niyan sa graph. Okay, so first and foremost, we determine the end behavior using the leading coefficient test. So yung polynomial na binigay ay naka-factored form siya. So, of course, kailangan muna natin i-multiply para malaman natin yung leading coefficient. Since the quantity x plus 2 is raised to 2, meaning we have there x squared, at we have here isang x, kung i-multiply natin yan, x squared times x, and we have here a constant 2, ang magiging leading term natin ay 2x raised to 3. Medyo complicated ba? So, kung medyo nahihirapan ka sa pagkuhan ng leading term, you can actually multiply everything and look for yourself kung ano nga ba yung leading term. So, this is just a shortcut. Okay, so, yun lang naman. Since naka-ratio sa 2, of course, dalawang x yan, x squared, tapos isang x doon, so magiging x cubed. Tapos, i-multiply natin siya dito. So, the leading term will be 2x cubed. Now, of course... The degree is odd. The leading coefficient is positive. So, parang yung graph natin kanina. Okay. Positive yan, tataas siya sa right. Odd siya, kaya yung isa, tataas isa, bababa. Ba. Of course, automatically yung left, bababa. Ba. Okay. So, that will be the direction of the graph at both ends. Now, we have the x-intercepts. These are roots. Pero we cannot do rational root theorem dito kasi nga yung polynomial function natin ay naka-factored naka form na siya. So actually, mas madali na yung trabaho natin dito. Since naka-factor na siya, makukuha natin yung roots by equating the factors to zero. So lahat ng factors niya equate ko sa zero. So this is one factor. This is one factor. Equate ko sa zero, and this is another factor. Equate ko sa zero. So, five dito, okay. Take the square root of both para magiging ganon. Square root of, square root of zero is zero. Now, x, dalhin si positive 2 sa kabila, magiging negative 2. So, the actual roots are, okay, actually, wala tayong nakuha dito. This is irrelevant. Now, nakuha natin si 5 at saka si negative 2. Always remember, ang degree natin ay 3, so dapat may tatlong roots. Kaso, dalawang roots lang ang nakuha natin. But take note na tatlo pa rin yan kasi ito actually ay nakaraise sa 2. So, meaning dalawang negative 2. So, so yung roots actually ng polynomial na to ay 5 at saka dalawang negative 2. Bakit dalawa? Naka-raise kasi siya sa 2. Ito. It has a multiplicity of 2. The roots are 5 and negative 2. But take note, si negative 2 ay dalawa kasi nga dahil dito. Okay, let's solve for the y-intercept. At sa y-intercept, palitan lahat ng x ng 0. Now we can actually graph it already. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we have negative 2, and we do have, sorry, we have negative 40 here because, it, because of the y-intercept. Now we mark the roots and the y-intercept at ito na. Since na-determine na natin yung end behavior, ilagay natin dito as a guide. Okay. 
So this is now how we're going to do it. Now, tataas siya doon. Kaso, okay, here's the catch. Ito na yung sinasabi ko na may epekto ang multiplicity sa graph. Okay? So, actually, if the multiplicity of the root is even, yung graph actually, hindi niya ikrocross yung root na yan. Kundi, mag it will only touch it and it will turn around. So, it will not cross. Always remember, if the multiplicity of the root is even, the graph will not cross it, but it will just touch it and then the graph will turn around. So, touch lang, tapos turn around, dadaan siya sa y-intercept, tataas siya sa isang root, which is 5. Take note, si 5 ay may multiplicity na 1, and 1 is odd. Kapag kayong multiplicity ay odd, the graph will cross it. So, yun ang difference. Kapag kayong multiplicity ay odd, it will, the graph will cross it. Kapag kayong multiplicity ay even, it will just touch it, and then it will turn around. So, yun guys. Actually, yung rule ng multiplicity, meron yun sa step 2. Okay? You have here, if the multiplicity, if the k is even, ito, ito yung k natin. If the k is even, the graph touches the x-axis. So, si negative 2 kasi ito siya. Okay? It will just touch negative 2 and turns around. So, it will turn around yet. So, I hope you're getting the connection I hope hindi kayo nalilito. Okay? So, that's how we graph um, polynomial functions. But, oh no, meron tayo nakalimutan. Yung fourth step. That is to verify kung hindi natin na-violate yung rule na number of turning points. The number of turning points is n minus 1. n is the degree of the polynomial. So, the degree of the polynomial here is 3. Okay, 3 minus 1. So, dapat dalawa lang daw ang turning points ng graph. So, tama naman, hindi natin siya na-violate kasi dalawa lang ang turning points ng graph. Same is true sa kabila. Okay? So, the degree here is 3. So, n minus 1. The degree is 3. So, 3 minus 1. The number of turning points should be 2. So, tama naman, hindi natin siya na-violate kasi dalawa lang naman ang turning points natin. So, yun guys, kung paano mag-graph ng polynomial function. If you have questions, please feel free to ask them on the comment box below. So, see you again on the next video.